Good morning, members of the uh, Toronto Board of Health and members of the audience. My name is Charles Zatch, and I am the Executive Director of Canada's National Firearms Association. The NFA is Canada's longest standing and most effective gun rights advocacy organization. We represent the interests of law-abiding Canadian firearms owners and users. The NFA is also the longest gun rights organization fighting for the rights of Canadians, both domestically and internationally. I'm here today because Canadian gun Canadian law-abiding firearms owners are incensed that they continue to be unjustly targeted and scapegoated for the misdeeds of outlaws who brazenly misuse their illegal firearms due to failed public policy and government inaction. Urban criminal crime touches on issues central to Canadian life. As more residents are killed or injured in wanton criminal gunplay, community leaders are under the gun to find effective solutions. For the record, law-abiding Canadian firearms owners who live in these communities share the same goals. Toronto City Council has already waded into this ongoing problem by requesting that the federal government ban legal handguns and lawful purchases of ammunition in Toronto as a deterrence to ongoing criminal violence. The Toronto Medical Office, oh, sorry, the Medical o Officer of Health has echoed the city's sentiment by also calling for a gun and ammunition ban. It is cited as recommendation five and six, as you know. In her supporting report titled Community Violence in Toronto, she cites, given the evidence related to access to guns, this report recommends that the Board of Health urge the federal government to place limits on the supply and access to the firearms. Although unlike many parts of her report, this particular statement has no citation to a source of substantiation in the references of the report. I have combed through all the presented attachments and cannot find any reference to an empirical study that concludes that banning legal firearms and ammunition sales will deter outlaws from acquiring illegal handguns and ammunition from the black market. This hypothesis of banning legal firearms and guns as a panacea for criminal uh, gun violence is not new. It has been tried in many urban centers and countries around the world. Most notable of these is Australia, New York, California, and Canada. Yes, Canada. In the 1990s, Canada enacted the Firearms Act, which is now the, the centerpiece of our current gun control uh, regime. A large number of previously legal firearms have already been restricted and banned. Subsequent research on the effectiveness of our gun control regime is now concluding that the type of firearm and control of certain types of firearms results in no reduction in firearm homicide or suicide. The ongoing criminal violence in Toronto proves this to be true. There has also been some concern that an increase in the legitimate ownership of restricted firearms, in particular handguns, has increased availability to criminal elements and consequently an increase in homicide. However, regression analysis of the numbers of registered restricted firearms demonstrates no association between an increase in ownership or homicide. Our recommendation. The evidence clearly suggests that gun bans result in no public safety benefit and should be discontinued as a pub public safety policy. The NFA calls on the Toronto Board of Health to reject the Medical Office of Health's recommendation to ban legal firearms and ammunition, ammunition sales on this basis. We are not the problem. Gun control is not crime control. Refocus your crime fighting measures on criminals, not the law abiding. Thank you for your consideration and the opportunity to speak before this esteemed board. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Are there any questions for the speaker? Just on, on, that, on that statement, you're against all gun bans? Yes. Like assault rifle, you, you, you think we should walk that back? Is what? that something, is that a statement you're making? Sorry, what is an assault, assault rifle? A, like a, 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 a weapon, an automatic weapon. Uh, they are already banned. But, but you're saying that that bans aren't effective. So do you think we should walk that back? We, we had automatic weapons in the I'm, 60s, and uh, they were banned. There was no result. You made, you made a statement reduction. that said bans aren't effective. So yes. are you saying that we should walk back that ban on fully, autom uh, fully automatic 30, weapons? I'll restate what I just said. I said that bans have no effect on crime control. Any other directors to question? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are moving along. I would like to call.